As you may know, this month is the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. And last year, President Trump received a lot of criticism when he became the first president in two decades not to host an official Ramadan dinner. In response, Trump said, I have no problem with Ramadan, I just don't like Muslims. But it looks like this year, he's changing his tune. Tomorrow, President Trump will host a dinner recognizing the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. The event was not held last year. The move is a return to White House tradition. So far, a guest list has not been made available. Yay! President Trump making Ramadan great again. For more on this news, <laughs> we wandered around the building and pulled in the first Muslim we saw. Hassan Minaj, everybody! <laughs> What's up, Hassan? What's up, man? So, uh, Hassan, the White House Ramadan dinner is back on the calendar officially. How big of a deal is this? I mean, it's huge, Trevor. Ramadan is the month where Muslims cleanse themselves by fasting all day. That means no eating, no drinking, no cursing, and definitely no face filters. We know you're not a puppy. No lying during the holy month, okay? <laughs> Ramadan is like Lent and Yom Kippur combined. It's the ultra-marathon of sacrifice. So it's nice when the president acknowledges that with the dinner. Yeah, but uh, Hassan, how does it feel to have Donald Trump host that dinner? You know, I'll be, I'll be honest, Trevor. Um, when I heard the news, I was deeply offended. Of course. That I wasn't invited. <laughs> wait, wait, you, you want to be invited? Of course I do. I mean, it is gonna be a train wreck. <laughs> Trump? in Ramadan. That's like Mel Gibson hosting a Passover Seder. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to see whatever that is? Okay, well, if you weren't invited, why not just find another Muslim who is gonna be invited and then just try and be there plus one? Oh, just chain migration my way into the dinner? I wish. <laughs> I don't even know who's going. I've asked all my friends. I have scoured the internet, which is like the Muslim internet, it's like black Twitter. Um, <laughs> nothing. It is killing me. I just want to sit there and share some halal KFC with my man Dinesh D'Souza. Hassan, <laughs> Dinesh D'Souza is not a Muslim. I know that. You know that. Trump doesn't know that. <laughs> I will say this, though. Any Muslim who goes to this event is truly devout. W what do you mean by that? I mean, this is the month of enduring hardship, and this dinner <laughs> is gonna be Hall of Fame hardship. <laughs> you are coming off of 16 hours of no food, no water, you're tired, you're delirious. And then Mr. Travel Ban walks into the room and because it's Ramadan, you're not even allowed to curse that orange tinted mother, I'm sorry, I'm fasting. See, now that's a test from God. Yeah, well, yeah. No, no, I, I'm sure you know this, Hassan, but there's a lot of speculation about why Trump is hosting the dinner this year, right? Some people think it's because the Supreme Court is about to rule on his travel ban, and he doesn't want them to think that he hates Muslims. Other people think he's doing this because he's planning to do, like, a Game of Thrones-style red wedding. Oh, okay. <laughs> or... Or... Trump is finally thinking of converting to Islam. Wait, what? Think about it, Trevor. He doesn't drink alcohol. He doesn't work on Fridays. He named his casino the Taj Mahal. He's already 90% there. Plus, it would be so dope to have our second Muslim president. What's up, Barry? <laughs> you know what, I mean, Trump converting to Islam, I'd have an easier time believing that if Trump didn't hate Muslims so much. You know who also hates Muslims, Trevor? Muslims. Iran hates Saudi Arabia. Turkey hates Syria. Hassan Minaj hates Kamel Nanjiani. <laughs> now, Kamel, I told you to put me in the big sick. It was the perfect role for me, but no. You had to go with Zoe Kazan, and look what happened. Your movie was barely a major hit. You selfish mother fasting. I'm fasting, I'm sorry. Hassan Minaj, everybody, we'll be right back. You gotta hold it in. You gotta hold it in. 